Hello and welcome to another Gaucho Cast. And today we're going to introduce you to your Chromebook. So when you check out your Chromebook from the library, you should get three things. You should get the Chromebook embossed with the MUHSD logo. You should get the charging block, also known as a brick or just a charger. And then you should get the power cord. Now on your Chromebook, on the bottom, there is a barcode label, which is a property label from the Merced Union High School District. When you turn in your Chromebook, the number on this label must match the number in the computer that's checked out to you. If it does not, you will be charged $250. This is to prevent people from stealing each other's Chromebooks. So the barcode label must match. If the barcode label is missing and we cannot verify that that is the Chromebook that you were checked out, you will be charged $250. Now, the chargers also have a barcode label on them um, with a long serial number. That number also must match when you turn it in. The chargers cost $50 to replace. So if your number on your charger does not match, you will be charged $50. So you need to make sure that you keep track of the ones that were checked out to you. And you will be able to look in the Destiny program, our library management program, to match the numbers to make sure you have yours. So you want to be very careful that you don't loan out your charger to other people um, and that you keep track of where it is at all times. Now the cord is not, uh, does not have a unique barcode number on it. They all have the same one, so there's no way we can track that, but you do need to make sure that you do not lose it. You also need to remember that the Chromebook is the property of the Merced Union High School District. So anything you do on this Chromebook must comply with the rules set out by the district and the school. Um, when you're using school devices, um, whether it is the Chromebook or it's the wireless system on your phone, um, you are subject to school rules and you must comply with them. Um, and as I mentioned, you are financially responsible for anything that happens to that Chromebook. You need to make sure that you have a safe way to store and transport the Chromebook to and from school. We highly recommend that you buy a protective case. Uh, most backpacks do not provide a lot of protection. You are also responsible for making sure that your Chromebook is fully charged every day when you come to school. Um, if it is fully charged, it should last the whole day. If you find that the battery is not lasting very long, you should notify Mr. Doyle in the library. Um, we do have some places in the library where you can charge your Chromebook. Um, so if you're going to come in at lunch, you can plug it in for a half hour and make sure that it gets charged back up. Um, um, you should never share your Chromebook with anyone else, whether it's a student, a family member, a friend. Um, your Chromebook is assigned to you. You are the only one who should be logging into it. You're the only one who should be using it. If your friend forgets their Chromebook, they need to deal with that problem. That is not something that you can solve for them. Okay, so when you get your Chromebook from the library, uh, it is very likely that it is not plugged in. There's no way we can charge 800 Chromebooks at the same time. Um, so your first assignment is going to be to take this home and to charge it. Um, and so to charge your Chromebook, you're of course going to first take the tie off of the charging cord and there are two plugs uh, this one known as the male end goes into the to the power strip or the outlet so we're gonna plug that in and then the charger or the brick um, has a velcro wrap on it and you're going to undo the velcro wrap and you're going to plug what's called the female end, into the charging block. This tiny little piece here is what plugs into the Chromebook. 
And on the student Chromebook, the port to charge is on the back, um, basically right behind the D and the MUHSD um, logo. You need to make sure you put it in uh, straight. If, there's, if it's not going in, do not force it. It can easily break. So um, it should take a couple hours to charge it the first time. Um, after that, you'll find that it charges up fairly quickly. Um, but a good practice is to leave it plugged in overnight when you're at home sleeping. Um, and then uh, and that should take care of it. When you get up in the morning, it should be ready to go. Um, even fully charged, you want to make sure you bring the charger with you to school every day also. Okay, just in case. So once you have got it plugged in and charged, um, the next step is to open the Chromebook. Um, the Chromebook does not have anything that locks it closed, so there's no little slider here. Um, what you need to do is just put a finger on each side and open it up. Okay. And you'll find most of the time that when you open it up, it boots right up. Now the beautiful thing about a Chromebook is that it takes approximately seven to 10 seconds to boot up. And if you've ever used the, uh, the other laptops that we've used in the district, um, you know that is very, very fast. Okay, so once you've got it charged up, you open it, um, on the screen you will see the login screen and it asks for your email address and your password and we'll go over how to enter those in.